Okay, welcome back. And what you see here is the um, uh, my iPhone, uh, and it's plugged into the DXE radio, and uh, it's connected. You can tell it's connected because that little sim circular symbol there doesn't have a line through it. Uh, so I want to go through each of the settings that I have. This is what I call my all normal settings, meaning when there's no servo reversing and the uh, other defaults are on the way I like it, then all the airplanes that uh, fly with that will use this model. Okay. So the first thing is the basic setup. And the basic setup allows you to set the name of the model and uh, either seven or nine channels. Apparently this thing can um, um, control seven channels and um, uh, I think it doesn't control all nine because it doesn't have enough switches for that, but at least can probably see nine channels. Okay, So it has enough switches for seven channels, but I don't think it uh, has enough switches for nine channels. So that's the basic setup. The wing type can be uh, normal, and for a, a three-channel radio like the Champ, you still use normal. It just won't have any ailerons. The, so you use normal for that. You can use elevons. Uh, a or Elevon B, but we'll use normal, okay? So that's the normal one we want, okay? And reversing, um, throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, gear, aux 1 and aux 2, so it can see all seven channels, and they're all in the normal position, which is what I would want for my defaults, for all normal, okay? And um, uh, the... Um, Throttle cut, okay. Throttle cut is active. Cut value is uh, um, 29 percent, and um, that should be fine for a default. It has worked. I've seen it. Okay. You can have expo either inactive or inhibited or inactive, and um, I like expo to be active. And it's probably set at 20 to 30 percent. I haven't found out what that actually is set at yet. Okay, trainer settings. I have trainer settings down here as inhibited. Okay, so the trainer is inhibited. Uh, at some point, I'll do uh, a different video about training. Okay, transmitter settings. Okay, here's where it says um, stick mode two and um, uh, the battery type is uh, al uh, alkaline or nickel metal hydride. Okay. Now let me explain something about stick mode too. Um, when I first started this application, before I plugged it in, um, uh, that said stick mode one. <laughs> I was kind of worried because I couldn't change it. So uh, what happened was when I got ready to plug this in, it asked me. I said, "It's the the." App asked me his question. It says it read the um, uh, transmitter and said they're out of sync. And then it asked, which way do you want to sync it? Do you want the things in the in the radio to come down to the app, or do you want the app to update the radio? So the first time I did this, I let the transmitter update the app, and after it did that, that uh, Stick mode changed from one to two, which is what I wanted. So uh, don't go the other way first because the only way you're going to get that um, stick mode in the transmitter settings to switch to two is to, I think, is to download um, the settings in the transmitter to the app. And it can go both ways. So that's good. About just tells you this is version 1.02 which is the latest version. And there's a feature here for a bug report. So obviously they're still new to this and if you find a bug, let them know. I haven't found any bugs yet. So now that we have this all set, uh, I'm gonna push this circular button at the top and uh, it asked me a question. Transmitter out of sync. This says transmitter, uh, it says transfer settings from transmitter or transfer settings to transmitter or cancel. So since I've been changing this and I know this is the settings in this are correct, 
I'm going to hit this button on this side that says transfer settings to transmitter. If it's the first time you're using it and that mode one is still in the app, hit the transfer settings from transmitter. So this is already set at mode two. I'm going to transfer settings to transmitter. Okay. And you can, if you can see it, there's a little red line going across there. Okay. And it's communicating with the transmitter. And it says sync in progress. Please wait. And so we're going to wait and wait and wait. And it doesn't take very long. Thank goodness. You can see the little circle going around and around up there. And uh, so uh, it'll be done syncing in a minute. This app is smart enough to know that the plug is installed and the, um, okay, transmitter is connected. Okay, so the transmission is complete. This app is smart enough to know that the plug is plugged in, but there's nothing on the other end of the plug. That can be one of two things. Either you didn't plug it in or the transmitter is off. So it's smart enough to know that. So now that we're, we're done, I'm going to um, uh, unplug the plug down here at the bottom, okay, and turn turn the uh, app off. I'm going to turn the radio off too, and I'm going to turn the app off. So I wanted to show you one other thing, um, which is on the back of the transmitter, there's a little um, place here for plugging in the uh, um, JR connector. And remember that JR connectors have a little have a little bevel on the side. So when, you're, when the connector is this way, that bevel is on the top. And if you look at the uh, connector here on the transmitter, this um, you can force it in the other way, but don't. Um, uh, so it should slide in very easily like that. Okay, so it should slide in and out very easily. And you can see this side is up, not the side where you can see the metal connectors. Okay, so that side is up, it goes in. Okay, it comes out, and it also has a, um, a little rubber piece here that uh, uh, allows you to cover up that uh, um, port to um, prevent dust from getting in there. So that's what uh, is on the back and how you connect the connector. So again, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for future videos.